what if you do? If you had your own zoo, would you bounce on a bear, let a giraffe brush your hair, have an elephant pick out your underwear? Clumsy animals. You ruined our rehearsal. I am so sorry. We didn't mean to. Oh, at least no one got hurt. Oh, my ankle. Oh. <laughs> my dream of winning the Dry City Twirlorama with my personal triple twirl rollout is fading. <laughs> Fading. Oh. Oh. Oh, woe is me. Oh. How is that? Is this okay? I wouldn't say it's comfortable, but it will have to do until my chauffeur arrives and takes me somewhere I won't feel such agony. Can I get you anything? Oh, it won't make the pain go away, but some lemonade would quench my thirst. Sure. Freshly squeezed. We'll have some lemonade, too. And some pillows for these huh, rock-hard chairs. They're so bossy. Why are you doing everything they say, Willa? It's my fault Sarah's hurt. It's the least I can do. No, it's all my fault. Oh, why did I have to trip? Hello. Hmm? I wonder why Galatis is working for those girls. Maybe it has something to do with that weird stick. Is this okay? Where's the mint leaf? Everyone knows you can't drink lemonade without a mint leaf. Aren't I suffering enough? I want a fan. It's too hot. Fluffier and more shade. Bring us some markers. The sparkly kind. And no flimsy paper. We need thick paper to write on. And make sure you have those animal-shaped ice cubes for my lemonade. But no elephant shapes. They remind me of the incident. <laughs> I want sock slippers! But make sure they're made out of cotton. Organic cotton. Soft slippers, sparkly pens, thick paper, ice cubes, no elephants. Got it. Bob's moving in. Huh? And, hmm, what do you suppose it is, fellas? Maybe it's a giraffe's toothpick. Nah. <laughs> Of course! It's a double-sided rubber tip golf club. Must be a new style. Didn't recognize it. Uh-oh! <laughs> <laughs> this is fun! <laughs> Having Willie and her animals pamper us. I was thinking and I came up with a new kick for the Tri-City Twirlorama. Look. 
<gasps> what? Willow! I just saw Sarah standing. <gasps> She's not hurt at all. What? Oh, so we're being played for suckers, huh? <gasps> I say we can get kick those three out of here. There's got to be an explanation. Maybe her ankle got better. Right. And I'm a woolly mammoth. I thought you were an alligator. Hey, Sarah. Is your ankle feeling better? Uh, sadly, no. But weren't you just standing up? What? No, that's... that's impossible. You must have seen Kara. I only hope that one day my ankle will be fully healed and I can compete in the Tri-City Twirlorama. <laughs> okay, Sarah is definitely faking. Whew. I'm so glad I didn't really hurt her. But why would she pretend to be hurt? Well, I say we show her why we are called animals. So, Gus, what we need is proof that she's pretending. We need to be there when Sarah gets out of that chair. How's that, Sarah? That ear is fanning a little too far to the left. Winnie, your alligator needs a breath mint. <laughs> And our glasses are empty. They won't fill themselves, you know. I can't believe it. I must be losing my touch. I thought you three might be bored, so I've arranged for some entertainment. Announcing the world-famous seals, Steve and Edie, performing their fantastic fish juggling act. Fish juggling? That's right. Stinky, smelly fish juggling. Are you crazy, Bob? That stick is not a magic wand. That was amusing, Wilberta. But what would really take my mind off my suffering are some magazines. Giraffe Monthly, Amazing Alligators, The Wonderful World of Walruses. What kind of magazines are these? <gasps> oh, no! It's Tiny and Lou's bath time! <laughs> are a little damp now. I do so hate to be a bother, but with my hurt ankle, we'll need fresh magazines. Lots. I wish for our very own iceberg. No, an automated feather fluffer. Hey! Uh -uh. hey. <laughs> Good going, Blinky. You broke it. Never get Sarah out of that chair. Worse, what if she never leaves? Don't say that. I don't think I could listen to her talking about how wonderful she is anymore. <gasps> That's it, Coco. I know the perfect way to get rid of Sarah, Kara, and Lara. <laughs> well, I hope Galatis's boss won't notice her magic wand is broken. Hey, Sarah, Kara, and Lara. I just wanted to be super sure that you're extra comfy and have what you need. Is everything okay? If you call missing the twirl rama okay, then we're... <sighs> just peachy. It's not me I'm worried about. It's Kara and Lara. They'll be missing out, too. <laughs> <laughs> oh, don't worry about them. They won't miss the competition. Well, we're a team. They can't do it without me. Exactly. That's why I'm going to be taking your place. <gasps> it's the least I could do for you. No, 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 
know, Wilby. You can't possibly take my place. Of course I can. I'll just wear your uniform. How hard can it be? Triple twirl rollout! No! Stop it! This is how you do the triple twirl rollout. Ankle's all better. Uh, um, I. Oh, that's my chauffeur. Gotta go. Fight. <laughs> you know, it's always better to tell the truth. But sometimes, when someone isn't telling the truth, you have to help them tell it. <laughs> <laughs> Ta-da! Um, I'm kind of stuck here. Can someone help me get up? Let's go, Will. I'm time for my weekly golf game with your dad. Um, Gus, when have you ever played golf with my dad? Only every Saturday morning. He wears a silly hat, I snatch it. He chases me, I eat it. And that's how we play alligator golf. I don't know if Dad thinks alligator golf is as fun as you do. Oh, yeah? If he didn't like it, why does he buy a new hat every week, huh? Gus, come back here with that. <laughs> come on, Gus, hand it over. There's my sunny girl. Morning. Morning, Dad. Aren't you gonna play golf today? No, I need to drive downtown on some business, but I'll be back in two shakes of a bunny's tail. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Gus, no time for hat wrestling today. <gasps> Yoo-hoo! Who's ready to have fun? <gasps> oh, yes, Miss Vanderwinkle has offered to watch you while I'm gone, Willa. Wowee, that sounds like super special fun. It sounds like fun to me, too, Willow. <laughs> so, what do you want to do first? Hmm, well, when I was just about your age, I used to love to play dress-up. Me too, and Dad hardly ever wants to play that. <laughs> well, you know, high heels give me blisters. <laughs> <clears throat> well, sounds like you two have a lot in common, so have fun. Whoa, watch my briefcase there, Gus. <laughs> we will. It'll be just us girls. And my animal pals, too. Absolutely. Let's go get my dress-up stuff. Saturday with no alligator cup. Gosh, Miss Vanderwinkle, how do you get so many pretty things? I can never just walk by a sail. <laughs> <laughs> My, my, what a little lady. And Coco can be a Kanga lady. You look fabulous, Coco. Who knew your furry friends had a passion for fashion? I know. And Jenny's the super tallest supermodel ever. Oh, <laughs> oh my, I'll be right back, Willa. Oh, this is boring. I want to play alligator golf. <gasps> Bet you can't get this. <laughs> Hats up! Hey, this hat bouncing routine's kind of fun. It's not hat bouncing, rookie. It's alligator golf. Guys, this is not how we play with Ms. Vanderwinkle's nice things. Sorry, guess we got a little carried away. <laughs> <laughs> Willa, I just thought of another fun thing we can play. Game. 
Peanut butter pickles. Buy them for three nickels. <laughs> Boy, those girls are sure playing some lame games, huh, guys? If you, you have, have 50, 50 cents, get, get chocolate, chocolate elephants. elephants. <laughs> <laughs> What's with you two? Do you want to be in that goopy girls club? Girls club? It just seems like fun. Ha! Our new boys club is way better than theirs. We have a boys club? What do we do? Well, uh, well, uh, well we have more fun than the girls. Uh, like uh, playing tag. And you are it. <laughs> now you're it, Tiny. <laughs> <laughs> Look! You're it! Hey! That's not sporting! Here I come! Fresh popcorn, anyone? <laughs> Thanks, Miss Vanderwinkle. I just love girly movies. Is there a wedding in this one? Uh huh. And wait till you see the bride's dress. <laughs> Ooh! We better save some popcorn for the others. I bet they'd really like to see the movie, too. Welcome, sports fans! Coming to you from Gladys' backyard, where it's a gorgeous afternoon for Nice move by the lumpy horse! Apparently, the ref had a different opinion. <laughs> Ouch! That's gotta hurt! You're not kidding, Nikki! There's no room for that! in the sport of backyard tag. Oopsie. Looks like that big fella earned himself an oopsie penalty. What? Chair breaking's part of the game. <gasps> oh my goodness, oh my goodness. We're very, very sorry, Willa. Indeed. Our competitive natures made us abandon all decorum. Whatever. We're playing tag. Well, I like playing tag too, but maybe it's time to do something else? Like coming inside to watch Miss Vanderwinkle's favorite movie. No thanks. Our boys club doesn't want to watch your goopy girls club movie. <laughs> Is that popcorn I smell? Hey, stop sniffing. That's girl club popcorn. Gus, that's just silly. Willa, your dad's on the phone. Great! Just a little car trouble, hon. But I'll be home as soon as the mechanic fixes my manifold thingamadmater. Okay, Dad. I understand. You're sure you don't mind staying till my dad gets back? Mind? I'm having such a lovely time. I could stay here forever. <laughs> okay, now it's the time for action. We'll never get rid of that neighbor lady until we find Willa's dad and bring him back home. So, I'd like to volunteer. Wow, that's very brave, Gus. Only I've got to stay here at the command post. But since Captain Camel always brags about crossing the desert, finding Willis' dad should be a cinch for him. Especially with three expert scouts. The Sahara was my sandbox. How hard can it be to find one wayward father? Now remember, boys, the secret mission stays secret. Zip those lips. How do I tell them we don't have lips? Shh. Guys, are you upset because I haven't spent much time with you today? Oh, she noticed. I'm sorry. We'd like to invite you to come in and play with us. Then we'll have an everybody club. No, we're talking. Nah, I don't feel like going inside. Gus? Where are Samuel and the penguins? Um, they'll be right back. Hey, you know what goes good with popcorn? Peanuts! <gasps> oh, no! Downtown is the first left on Second Street! And I say it's the second right on Third Street! Your navigational quibbling has made us ridiculously lost. Perhaps it's time to ask for directions. <gasps> directions? The lumpy horse has lost his mind. That's not what guys do. <laughs> Huh? 
town is just over the hill. <laughs> Are you watching the movie? No, and I'm not crying either. That's just popcorn dust in my eyes. Who wants fresh baked cookies? Oh, I do, I do! <laughs> Careful, they're hot. I know who this one's for. <laughs> well, I'd better go start another batch. Oh. Hmm. Boy, that Vanderwinkle lady's okay. Cookies, movies. Gee, I wonder if she can unsquash a lawnmower. She's a headliner, all right. Too bad Samuel and the penguins are missing out on the fun. What? Where are they? Oh, well, uh, 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 <laughs> I, I, I sort of kind of sent them on a mission to rescue your dad. <laughs> but Samuel's never been there before, and Inky, Blinky, and Bob are, well, Inky, Blinky, and Bob. Okay, I'm calling my dad so he can look out for them. <gasps> dad? Well, I guess I should have counted on my little Willa to send a camel courtesy shuttle. Actually, I didn't. But it doesn't matter, as long as everyone's back home, safe and sound. But, um, Willa, I couldn't help wondering when I saw Samuel and the penguins coming down the street, is everything all right here? Oh, sure, Dad. Mostly. And all my animal pals really like Miss Vanderwinkle. Well, look who's back home. I suppose that means I should be going. <laughs> or at least try to. <laughs> and some of them really, really, really like her. <laughs> Gus. <laughs> <laughs> Sports fans, we're in Galatis' backyard for the fashion show finals. Here comes our reigning champion. And here's the challenger. Talk about leggy. And necky. What's this? A last minute wild card? I've never seen anything like this before. And you never will again.